Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos on number theory, okay, uh, is going to try to attempt to show or prove that the sum of two odd numbers is an even number and will always be an even number, okay? So let's do this particular proof, okay? So let's do the proof, okay? It's not rigorous, okay? But let's just do this particular proof here, okay? Uh, well, if I want to show that the sum of two odd numbers is even, what I need to have initially is I need to have two odd numbers, okay? So let's say, let, let A and B be odd numbers, or let's say odd integers, okay? Odd integers, okay? okay? Well, now we know that they're odd integers, okay? Which basically means, based off the division algorithm, when we divide each one by two, the remainder Okay, it'll go in so many times, possibly zero, but the remainder is going to be equal to one. So actually, by definition, an odd number looks something like this. Okay, so knowing that these two numbers are odd numbers, well then based off the division algorithm, so therefore we have A must be equal to two times some number plus one. Okay, uh, where this some number, M, is an element of the integers. And also, we must have that B must be equal to 2 times some other number plus 1 where where n is also an element of the integers and this is just a fact okay uh, based off the definition of even and odd numbers okay if the number was even well then when we divide in by 2 there would be no remainder okay so we've said that we need to have two odd numbers so them odd numbers must look something like this they must look two like 2 times some number plus 1 and the other number b must look like two, sim two times some other possible number plus one. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, clearly we have something like this now. Okay, let's add them together because what we want to show is we want to show that the sum of these two numbers is even. So let's add them together. Well, a plus b is going to be equal to well, a by definition is equal to two m. It's odd two m plus one. Okay, uh, plus. Okay, that's that's our a plus our b which is by definition here it's odd which it must be equal to 2n plus 1 so when we remove the brackets what does that give us that gives us 2m plus 1 plus 2n plus 1 okay which is the same as 2m plus 2n plus 2 okay now there's a common factor across here what is it it's 2 so this is equal to 2 times m plus n plus 1 okay now clearly m and n m and n okay and also one okay are integers okay because we defined them earlier on to be integers okay and that's a fact from the division algorithm okay that we can find two integers okay uh, and a possible remainder okay so when we add two, uh, three integers together we always get an integer okay so actually what we've shown here is that a plus b is equal to two times some other integer okay let's call that P, where P is M plus N plus 1, okay, so where where P is an element of Z, okay, but actually what we've really shown here in this particular case is that the sum of two odd numbers, okay, uh, is equal to a number that's the product of 2 plus some other integer, okay, uh, is equal to 2 times some other integer, okay, uh, which by definition shows us that the sum of these two odd numbers is actually equal to an even number, because this integer here is divisible by 2. So clearly we have, clearly, okay, we have 2 divides a plus b, okay, uh, therefore a plus b must be, be even. Okay, guys, uh, this was a quick, short proof. Uh, uh, once again, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope that this video was in some way uh, intuitive and, more importantly, helpful. And thanks for watching.